What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and this is another My Favorite Bets, this time for UFC Vegas 62. And if you want to see my full card breakdown, I did just drop it yesterday on every fight on this card. Now, unfortunately, we did miss out. We are going to miss out on Askar Askarov versus um, Brandon Royval because Askar Askarov did miss weight and then did uh, decline the catchweight bout with Roy Val. Kind of disappointing. That was my favorite card. Favorite fight on the whole card, I'm not going to lie. But there's still some great fights. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Leave a comment. Click subscribe. Turn your post notifications on. Let's quickly go through these fights. Again, if you want to see my full breakdown on these fights, go to the video I posted yesterday. Obviously, you can skip the Asker fight. But this is just going to be real quick. Going through them. Picking my, giving my picks and telling you if I have a um, you know, my a betting perspective on them real quick. First fight of the night, I got Pete Rodriguez um, early, but I do think this line is way wide. I know Mike Jackson's kind of the laughing stock at MMA, but you know, he uh, you know, Pete Rodriguez is four and one, hasn't beat anybody. If it gets extended past the first couple of minutes, I could see it going either way. I'd thought about even laying a a, a cheesy plus 500 almost uh, bet on Mike Jackson. Haven't done that yet. Don't think I will. If I do, I'll tweet it out. But I do think that line's a little wide. I'm going to go Pete Rodriguez first round knockout, but the line's too crazy. Next up, I do have a bet on this fight. I have Tara by submission. I think uh, Vergara did come in miss weight by three pounds. Probably strategic. I'm just going to be real. Probably knows this is a tough matchup. Wants to be a little bit, a little, little more gas in the tank, a little bigger, stronger. Not again, if you know how this works, it's not about the three pounds, it's about not having to cut that last bit. Then you can inflate up even bigger. Obviously, not have to go through the, the most gruesome part of the weight cut, which is those last couple pounds. So, but I still like my plus 350 bet on Tara by sub. Um, that doesn't help though. Next up, pass on me for this one. Um, I, I, um, I do think Pereira is the rightful favorite, but wouldn't be trying to lay two to one. Don't like the overs or any of that. Just laying off of it completely. I do have a little something on this one, though. Got Brito earlier on in the week, and I did parlay him up with the over. The fight goes a decision in that Maximov Malkoon fight. I, I did was surprised to see Alexander make weight, but, uh, you know, not super impressed with what I've seen on the regional side. He is a, he's going to have a size advantage for sure. Let's see how the weight cut affects him. But I still like Brito in this matchup. The line's getting wide at this point. You might want to get on it quick if you're still going to do it. Um, and I like the fight go to decision in this Maximov Malkoon fight. It's going to be close. It could go either way. Um, Malkoon probably going to be a little bit more active on the feet. Maximov, I feel like, better chance of getting takedowns. But could go either way. Um, I like fight goes to decision. Parlayed those up. Next up. I like Victor Henry a lot here. The line is getting a little crazy here. I think Asunso has a way to make him slowing down these fights, but he hasn't been looking great. He's a little bit old for bantamweight. I think Victor Henry is just going to outwork him. I think he's a good parlay piece for sure as well. Um, Mana Martinez, I'm slightly edging, but laying off that one completely. As far as this one, um, I think you can go with a Misha by sub. You can go Minifield by KO, but I like the unders. I like fight doesn't go the distance. Maybe even fight goes under first two rounds um, or doesn't complete two, whatever your book wants to call it. And kind of similar for this next fight, man. You could go Dusko by finish. You could go Jordan Wright by finish. You could go Jordan Wright first round KO. Thought about all these possibilities, but I really like the under. Fight doesn't go the decision. Um, at this point, probably just it's like minus 700 something. So I'd go doesn't complete two rounds. It's like minus 360. I don't think that's bad. I think that's playable. For sure, it's a parlay piece. As far as the co-main event, um, oh, but for a pick on that one, um, man, I do think Jordan Wright could catch him in that first round. I'm leaning Misha, and I'm leaning, uh, really, I'm leaning both underdogs. Um, Dusko more ways to win, but I, I don't know if he's going to make it out of that first round. And Misha could get chin in that first round, but could get that sub. Um, it's all going to be about where he's at health-wise coming into it. Uh, the co-main event, man, Cub making weight like a professional. Knew he would. Um, man, I think he's got a good a good chance to uh, get an underdog win here, too. The value is definitely on him. But a pass for me, for sure. Um, just just too much. I mean, if I was going to bet it, I'd go with the underdog, Cub Swanson. But uh, just not inclined to do that. 
um, main event. Alexa Grasso, I'm, I'm edging. I, I just didn't really want to bet on that. My main, I, I do think Alexa, Alexa Grasso by decision. Maybe you could do the minus 115 for fourth, fifth, or by decision. But I really like, if you're going to, the you know, my most confident ones are, you know, the Dusko, Jordan Ryan, not to go to two rounds. Misha, uh, Alonzo, not to go two rounds. Um... <clears throat> You could change it to some flyers. Misha by sub, Alonzo by KO. Uh, the Dusko Jordan fight ends in KO. I see that happening. Victor Henry's a good parlay piece. The Malkoon Maximov, the overs. The Brito. Brito's getting a little too heavy on the on the line at this point, if I'm being real with you. Um, I don't if you could still get like my, plus three hundred with Tara by sub, but um, not three fifty and Vergara's gonna have a little bit of a weight advantage there. Um, those are really where my head's at for this one. I am, you know, don't want to go as crazy on a card like this as 280 next week. I'm really looking forward to that. One of the best cards, if not the best card of the year. Can't wait for it. Going to have, I'm sure, a lot of action on it. But I appreciate you guys watching this. Just a quick video, giving my betting thoughts on it. Hope you enjoy the fights. Make some money. I will see you guys live tomorrow, Saturday, on Twitch for the fights. Link's going to be in the caption below. Peace.